5G networks are driven by use cases. And many of these use cases will require extreme performance requirements, which are very different from one use case to another. And that require multiple independent logical sections of the network running on a single physical infrastructure to cater to the requirement of different use cases. And this logical sectioning of the network in 5G is referred as network slicing. Just to understand a bit more of a use case, let us understand different service verticals of 5G, which are named EMBB or Enhanced Mobile Broadband. URLLC or ultra reliable and low latency communication and MMTC or massive machine type communication. EMBB requires very high data rates up to 20 Gbps in downlink. MMTC requires millions of simultaneously connected devices, whereas URLLC requires very low latency of less than 1 millisecond and very high reliability of up to 99.99% and achieving all these requirements in a single network is very difficult. Hence network has to be provisioned in a way where it can provide a different experience to different kind of users. Network slices will be created on a shared physical infrastructure however. Based on the requirement some portions of the network can be dedicated for one service, use case, or maybe enterprise customer. Identified by unique identifiers, these network slices can be some standard slices available for retail users, or some custom slices provided as NAAS that is, network as a service for its enterprise customers. These network slices can be created, maintained and terminated based on the services or customers' SLA requirements and can be provisioned by enterprise customers in a self-service fashion. These network slices provide end-to-end -end services and span across radio, transport, core and service networks. Network slicing is going to change the way the network services are being delivered to retail or enterprise customers and giving new revenue opportunities to mobile network operators and that makes network slicing a very interesting proposition. Please visit our website www.learnisaglobal.com for more such videos, blogs, trainings and information. Thank you.